Hi everyone, my name is Asato, welcome back to my Dungeon Siege 2 Elite Walkthrough. It is time to mm, continue with Act 2. Come on, just... <laughs> Welcome to look around if you take care where you step. Not all of these spilled items are harmless. If you feel a prickling of the skin on your neck, do not be alarmed. These holes contain many frightened spirits who have not yet found their way across the sacred waters. Spirits, what do you mean? Yes, I have always been in tune with the ethereal world in a way. I have spent much of my time collecting information about it, and I have even managed to come into contact with a ghostly spirit. Obviously, talking to spirits is impossible through normal means. Their words are completely unintelligible to our ears, even if the ghost in question has manifested itself enough to become visible to our eyes. Hmm. They're hoping to communicate what seems uh, to be a pursuit of war, no? Not necessarily. My research indicates that the Vaikesh cultists use ancient chants to communicate with the darker spirits the source of their otherworldly knowledge. If I could know what they spoke during their dark rituals, I think I may be able to figure it out. Are you interested in helping me? Yes, what do you need me to do? The Vaikesh are much too cunning to simply leave such information lying around. I fear that the only way to learn the secret of their chant is to overhear one of their rituals. Seek them out in the Vaikesh forests and look for one of their ritual chambers hidden within their caverns. But beware, the cultists are not the only danger in this undertaking. The words themselves can be a threat to mortal ears. Do not give up your search. We must stop the foul cultists once and for all. But I need the Vaikesh phrases if I am to proceed further. In the meantime, perhaps some of my wares could help you in the investigation? We have all lost loved ones to that cursed creature. My A-star will never again see the morning sun rise over the hills. I will sell you what little I have left. A perfectly balanced blade can make one forget one's grief. If only for a moment. Thank you.
not good enough. Greetings. I am afraid much of the town now lies at the bottom of this cursed crater. As you can see, my shop has nearly been destroyed as well, but you are welcome to look through what little stock remains. My friends, I shiver. Useless. Very great. If you want equipment, you should talk to... Wait a minute. You are that mercenary, are you not? Yes, I am. Well, by Zerius Spear, I just received a package from my brother Felber for you. He wanted me to thank you for helping him. It was nothing. I am glad. Ah, a fine hero you make, too. Though you might make a better one if you had a real hero's weapon to match. Please accept this token of Feldweir's thanks. I hope it serves you well in your travels. Sweetlad, my good friend, it is good to have you home, even in times as dark as these. When the tragedy hit, I thought of you, and how strong you were when we became lost in the Ellen New Isles as children. You see how much changed. I was wondering if you could help me with something, if you have the time, of course. Certainly, Iris. I have no chance so much as to keep them friend. Now, how can I help? Ah, if I could bring a small joy back to the children of this town, I know I could do so with this. My departed grandfather's staff. It glows with such beautiful colors, but the headpiece is missing. If somehow you could replace it, I would be most grateful. I'm not familiar with the insistence that would create the colors you saw in the piece, but I will keep an eye out for such a thing. You are still the friend I once had. I I will do my best to pull myself together, and I wish you good speed. Amanlu is in need of anything to lift its spirits. Dara be with you in your journeys. If you seek specialized equipment, I have something you may find intriguing. 
equipment. Well, not only am I a great marksman and fine trainer of arranged arts, I have some expertise in alchemy. With a little help from you, I could put my latest theory to a test. Would you be willing to help me gather the ingredients? Very well. What do I have to do? Excellent. I need you to collect the following reagents. Jagged arrowheads, a griffin feather, and an onyx fragment. Hopefully you will come across these ingredients in the forests around Amun Lu. Combat magic has ever been a strength of the elves, and no elf knows more of this art than I. As its guardian, it is my duty to share what I can. Or perhaps you would like to hear an old tale. My tale is long and eventful. Do you have the time to sit and hear it? Hi, tell me about the whole story. Who the details coming in? My tale begins in the sunrise of elven history. Long ago, in the age before this one, the elves were just mastering our gifts of foresight, empathy, and sorcery. In those days, most of the Edhel were akin to the mundane folk of Arana, blind to the arcane senses. There were few, however, who had begun to unlock the secrets of the ether world. The most advanced was a young elf, Erinth. Erinth was both a sorcerer and a craftsman. He created a beautiful staff and enchanted it with magics that amplified his abilities in a manner in which no elf had ever thought possible. But... Go on. Well, this story does not end happily. Aaron's newfound power consumed him, scorching his mind until he was but a raving beast, stronger than all of the Edhel, save for two, Istero and Istora. It was they, the great leaders of our race, who, linked with the minds of all of our people, were finally able to rip the staff from Aaron's hands. Aaron's power, while dimmed without his staff, was still great enough to protect them both from final destruction. While Istero transported Aaron to a prison of his making, Istora separated the staff into its parts and secured them in guarded reliquaries across the continent. Time passed as it always does, and Aaron and his staff were relegated to the dusty tomes of legends, all but forgotten. Indeed, this tale was lost for an age. But as I was cleaning up the mess Baldis left us, I found a strange volume lodged in a crack in the wall. This house once belonged to Kirklithiel the historian, and this book contains his account. If Kirklithiel's words are true, then Aaron's staff must still exist waiting to be found by one who can master it. Hmm. And you think that I can master this weapon? What do you think they did master me? That is not an outcome I have seen, Melonomen. Besides, your strength of will is very great. So, will you attempt to find the pieces of Eren's legendary staff? I am certain that I can reassemble and return it to its former glory. I have Good. I have copied what I need from this book. You may take it. Perhaps it will help you locate the reliquaries containing the staff fragments. It mentions three. One for the focusing stone, one for the jeweled shaft, and one for the carved rod. Thank you. Do you have any idea what the reliquaries Alas, I do not. I am sorry that I cannot offer you more help. Oh, well. Perhaps the book should be improved very well. Valdis. I will curse him with my final breath. Many of my animals are dead because of his justice. If you're gonna fight him, though, I'll sell you whatever wretched creatures I have left. So, you do not have anything special to you? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, not now. If I were to keep anything valuable here, it would be that beast I once saw a Morden Grawl mage summon by accident. It was not huge, but it was very powerful. 
It had a large metallic horn, and it used some sort of power that stirred the Durpless into a frenzy. They kept attacking it, but to no effect. It is possible that Kartos the Wise might know more about it, but he wouldn't give me the time of day, even if I could find him. Well, I'll wait to have you for time. Kartos the Wise was the most powerful magician I have ever met. Unfortunately, he became complacent and took more interest in the bottle than in magic, if you take my meaning. What happened to him? He disappeared around the time the Morden attacked Calrathia. Some people think he died during the battle, but others say he just moved to a town somewhere on Greyland Isle. Did that bot do me? Me? I think he is just in hiding until safer times. <laughs> he would not be hard to find, what with that yellow robe and the black boots and gloves he always wore. <laughs> May have looked odd, but he seemed to like it well enough. Interesting. I came here looking for one mark, but here I find another. I was expecting a different target. Walker. That man nearly killed you. You are very lucky to be alive. I did not know if the rumors were true. Now I have seen with my own eyes. The assassins are at work, even here in Armonlu, as if we did not have troubles enough. An assassin? Is that uh, what that man was? Yes. He appeared from the shadows as if he were one with them. Such shadow-walking thieves have been noticed increasingly in the lands beyond the forest. Calrathia, once the very image of purity outside of Armonlu, is suspected of harboring the Assassin's Guild. Many of the Ed Hell know of it from travelers, and a few even visit it regularly. The merchant who owns this house left for Calrathia a week ago, in a great hurry. I hope he has not run into trouble with these honorless thieves. I have never met this merchant. Why would the assassin attack? That I do not know. Perhaps you have angered someone you should not have. Did he say anything before he attacked you? I seem to remember him saying something about my Really? Very interesting. Merchant Kendrell is not all that well liked. He is a bit underhanded in his dealings, if you know what I mean. Still, that is not reason enough to kill an innocent. Are you sure there was nothing else unusual? What were you doing inside the house? I found this little story on the table and could not help but pick it up. It is almost as if I was uh, compelled. Ah, oh, you have a Leon Tearstone. The spider watcher's gift to the one he intends to kill. You should not have picked that up. I feel to understand what this shiny people have to do with it. That assassin's gift forever marks the target as his kill. It doesn't matter that you are not the contracted target. If you become entangled in his web, you are his. I am his? Is there nothing I can do? Hmm, I am not sure what more to tell you. 
although I do seem to remember an enchantress who visited us once and asked about such stones. I spoke to her at length. I am sure she will remember my name. If you are able to make it to Calrathia, look for Enchantress Valeria and tell her Danadel sent you. Thank you, I will see her. throughout the world. Take care in whom you lend your trust. One moment, I believe I recognize him. Hey, you could only be speaking of one person then. Trust him not. He conspires with the Vikesh to release a demon into this world. What? It won't be that you would say such as well. Why would I trust what? Did he mention the Vikesh when you spoke with him? He may have used their lesser known name, Manu Osta. What? He did mention the Manu Osta, but said that nothing about the Vikings. He described them as very powerful, as very wise, and the creators of this family here. My friend, the Manu Osta and the Vikings are one and the same. Master Thestrin sought to trick you into giving him the heirloom sword to further his and the Vikings' power in this world. He tricked you into giving him the sword. Master Thestrin must be stopped and the demon destroyed. Will you aid me? Hi, the thought of being consumed does not seem to The location of the demon is deep within the Vikesh forest, between their sanctuary and the first of their treacherous bridges. This is all a nightmare, you will see. Tomorrow we will awaken to the sound of flutes ringing in the dawn. The guests will be well rested and generous with their coin. Make up your mind, do you... is all a nightmare. Come back! Who? This is all a nightmare. Do you seek my help? 
This is all a nightmare. Need another sword on now. This is all a nightmare. Nice one, I know. This is all a nightmare. precious cloak. Find it? You mean return it? I'll find it, and the true thief as well. Be gone. And don't even think about taking anything else. I'll go to this cave you speak of and get to the bottom of this. Don't worry, little father. of a homecoming as a child. Young Drevin, did he return as well? Drevin is dead. His blood is... His blood of blood is his head. Many suspected as much. The Elven Heart is sensitive to such passings. He will be well mourned. This game of alliances is hellish to play. A single misstep can bring such terrible atrocities. Yes, but he said that what was he? Why would he do this to us? Times have changed, my child. You have been away too long to see it, but our role in this war has weakened. At one time, Valdis sought our counsel. He has gone too far now. The power of the sword has consumed him, mind and soul. The tie is severed. Never will the elves bow to the whims of a madman. What reason could he have for bringing such destruction upon our head? Valdis does not listen to reason now. He demanded the relic we have held within our shrine for generations. Even had he spoken courteously as he did once, I would not have given it to him. Still, it did not matter, as the princess had come and taken it already. Princess imagined themselves here, the shrine beneath your home, but I thought the place it contained a finger or so. The sentimental trifles. Remember as a uh, age-long Indeed, my child. You missed her by a few days. There was a precious relic, more dear than all the gold in Valdis's temples. Now that it is gone, I can tell you that the relic was the Aegis of Death. Here, in our town? So, you have heard of this artifact? I, I have heard of something called Island. The Aegis are objects of great power. The princess pleaded with us to release the one we held so that she could bring it to the safety of Snowbrook Haven and its full garrison. There, the heart of the Resistance wages war against Valdis's forces. With the Aegis, they may have the strength they need to crush his foul army. I could not refuse her. There 
is more at stake in this war than the safety of one small town. The princess and her royal guards carried the ages away on a caravan three days ago. This town will help us. But we stop what is possibly leading the camp. Never safe for now. Its whereabouts are shrouded in a haze. Not even Amrin is able to pierce. And while Valdis is traveling to the castle as well, he will not take the same road. Her Highness meant to go by the old ways, through the forests. Still, I fear the Aegis will be vulnerable soon. For this shall not happen. I will go up to the caravan and ensure that it uh, reaches the haze. You are no longer driven solely by your own needs, I see. I am proud of you. It seems this place is not the only thing that has changed. Which road did it uh, take? I will go after her at once. Their route was to the south across the bridge. Unfortunately, there's not much left of the bridge now. It has been all we can do just to keep the fires from consuming the town completely. They will not be extinguished by mundane means, I am afraid. Perhaps she must still go among all. Perhaps she could spare to repair the bridge. She is always in place to involve herself in such matters. Aye, she lives here still. Finola could perform that duty, were she not already occupied. She has taken it upon herself to travel to the Ellen Lu Isles. She means to activate the ancient prism of the elves and save this town. The prism of the elves? I have been there to the Isles as a child. The prism of the elves was created by our ancestors. Isteru himself filled it with his own energy. It is to be used only in times of dire need, for its power will be greatly diminished long after its healing rains have ceased. I won't let us do any more damage than he has already. Perhaps I can activate the prism myself and from this power to return and repair the bridge. I must go after that camera. You have my blessing then. I will order the north gate to be unlocked for you. One more thing, my child. You may want to stop by Drevan's childhood home. His sister, Driandrel, received a letter from him a few months ago, addressed to you. A letter. His star be with you. Make haste. There is no time to lose. seemed surprised to see you. When I left, I told him I would never be back. You were sick of the same old town, I imagine. Something. I know that feeling. to make the headpiece to Grandfather's staff. The memory of it is fading with every hour that passes. I think so. Take a look at what I found. Yes! A rainbow trinket. That was it. Beautiful. The, the dark tunnel of my vision is opened again. I can see the colors of day. I do not have much, but please accept what little gold I have.
What? What happened? I was sleeping soundly, dreaming of sunlight and a certain pair of elven eyes. And suddenly I was standing here. Everything looks fuzzy, as if the world has been coated in a film of cotton. I saw I am forced to pay towards you, Miss Archmage, inside the town, and you were killed. A uh, spirit, you say? But that means I will never win Letharin's heart. Oh, the pale shores beckon so brightly. Look, the haze is lifting. Be well, kind stranger. May you live to find the love I never had. Christmas. I'm glad to see you again, though this day is so dark that your safe return will not brighten it. Hello again, Briaru. Uh, I have something very difficult to tell you. Yes. I wondered why my brother did not return with you. Please tell me, what happened to him? Rain fought well, but he was so wounded in battle. Always betrayed him to his death. Somehow I knew. My heart has mourned him even before you brought me this final news. My brother was a soldier and sought death in battle. I grieve that he found it. But his passing makes the news I have for you that much more bitter. News? Tell me. Valdus's wrath has taken more from you than my dear brother. Your family has suffered because of his madness. What do you mean? Where is my family? When Valdus attacked Amanlu, they were... They have crossed the final waters to the shining shores beyond. I am sorry. That means they all died. Oh, my dear friend, would that I could ease your suffering. This is it, then. The way is... No, please, it is too much. I cannot lose you, too. Please. By the grace of Syria, by the fires of snow and fighting, by all the days, all in here, all is dark. Now, by my hand alone, I swear this... My family... Remember that you have friends here who grieve with you, though we may do so more quietly. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Stay with you, you can't. Do not make promises that you may not be able to keep, Milana Men. I cannot, I cannot give you my blessing in this folly, but I can give you something else. I, I received a letter from Draven just before Valdus struck. It is addressed to you. Me? 
that day I was with him. Why would he write me a letter? I have not read it, so I do not know. <laughs> Perhaps he suspected that his time was short. At any rate, here it is. Thank you. It's not right, Leah. When next I see you, I will be carrying what is his head on the path. <laughs> I remember how it was. This place was a shrine to history. Relics of power and antiquity were held here. The Aegis of Death was the most wondrous of these. Even Guardian Commander Wethril would gaze at it for hours. I came upon him suddenly one evening. My memory grows hazy at that point. It was a popular artifact for something so very secret. Celebel only recently showed it to the Princess Evangeline and allowed her to take it with her. Now, in its absence, this place is not but a cellar. Damp and cold. Your gadget here is no longer needed. The ages is gone. You may leave this place. Well now, what has happened to the Western Wall? I can see the ocean even from here. And what looks to be like white cliffs rising above a bright shore. Perhaps I will go have a look. We deserve a vacation stay going to Only nine. Greetings, stranger. Hello, I am Darren, and you must be a prospector. That I am. How did you know? No one else would carry such odd tools. Well, now, I'm ready to quit being a prospector. The only luck I've been having is bad. How is that possible? The world is full of abandoned riches. Ew. Well, I have this old map, you see. 
It's supposed to lead to a fabulous treasure, but it's useless. I always go to the pyramids, but you may have it if you wish. time on this wild goose chase where is your spirit of adventure this could be the beginning of an amazing journey or a complete waste of time i do not share your sour temperament and don't expect me to share my riches with you I don't think so. Not like that, you idiot. done a fine job hiding the treasure. It must be tremendous if they went to all this trouble. Step lively, Deru. If the treasure is as valuable as you say, there may be fierce creatures guarding it. You must keep your wits about you.
here do I watch this place. For so long as this place exists in this world, so may Distora the Fierce, so shall I obey. Distora, I seek a this place? You are the seeker? Istara foretold this day and commanded me speak to you. Aranth the Mad still does live, and his staff does still hold power. Do not bring the two together, for the staff is the key that unlocks the prison. The chest is now open. Baldis and his archmage may have smashed our homes and even half of the inn, but they missed my stock of fine elvish vintages. <laughs> uh, it will take time to rebuild our lives, but in the meanwhile, there is wine plenty for all. A glass of your summer wine that would suit me as well. Thanks. Certainly. It is always pleasant to see a young person who knows how to appreciate a fine local tradition, especially in these dark days. Take a seat, my friend. Have some wine and tell me a story of your adventures. Hmm, what sort of story would you uh, like to hear? Ah, let's see now. Tell me about the time you killed a sea demon. Melanomin is an excellent story. My thanks, and best of luck to you on your next adventure. Care to douse your sorrows with a glass of my fine elvish wine, Melanomin? I glass of you somewhere with Certainly. It is always pleasant to meet a young person who knows how to appreciate a fine local tradition, especially in these dark days. Take a seat, my friend. Have some wine and Tell me a story of your adventures. What sort of story would like to hear? Ah, let's see now. Tell me about the time you killed a sea demon. So perhaps you have me confused with someone else. I have never killed a sea demon. Huh? You have not killed a sea demon. Not very well. Uh, tell me a story about your conquest of the treacherous Arugan. My conquest of what? I have never even heard of such people. Oh! I have not even heard about the treacherous Arugan. Well, this is a surprise. But you must have encountered that undead Duchess L'Oreal at Ilted at some point, at the very least. Correct? I beg you. I beg you, pardon. Perhaps you have drunk a bit much of uh, that wine that you so proud of drunk. My goodness, well. I had you pegged as more of an adventurous type. Is there anything you have defeated? I just had that point. Hmm. My friend, one such as yourself might be needing to get out more, prove yourself some. I might know of an adventure of sorts for you. A bit of a challenge, in fact. Are you interested? Oh, tell him. There is a special place you can go. Not far from here, in fact. Dangerous spot to be found there. Many go in, but few come back out. Sounds intriguing. It is not far, as I said. Go through the door behind the bar and descend into the wine cellar. You will find Tristeth waiting at the far end of the room. Say to him, 
Quivador, and he will let you pass. This is the tavern wine cellar. If you wish to forget your troubles for a time, speak to the bartender upstairs. Nothing down here but dusty bottles and broken glass. Hi, friends, but I have already spoken to you about the, the arena. Hush! You should not talk about that place so loudly in times like these. I suppose you do look like the type, though. Did Drudwin say anything else? Hi, he said to tell you this. You may pass through to the Amalu Arena down below. Sweetlad, Melaunamin. Welcome to the Amanlu Arena. Arena. The Amanlu Arena is a place of fierce combat. If you prove yourself victorious against the challengers, you will earn a generous reward. Would you like to test your strength in the arena? Hi. Those challengers serve you not to know what hit me. Indeed, I knew that you would accept the challenge. To begin the fight, purchase a token from me. Place it on the pedestal in the center of the arena to begin. Do you wish to buy a token? You've won the first challenge. If you'd like to try your luck in the second round, you will need to purchase a token. Would you like to buy one now?
you'd like to try your luck in the third round, you'll need to purchase a token. Would you like to buy one now? You have won the third challenge. If you'd like to try your luck in the fourth round, you will need to purchase a token. Would you like to buy one now? dare you. What? No way! Can't be. Please just survive it. No!
Greetings. I am afraid much of the town. Even in times of such sorrow, a warrior must have fine weaponry. I have salvaged a good portion of my stock. Okay, subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, we can continue next time. Bye bye.